Thank you, Jennifer, and certainly congratulations to Sheriff John Lenhart on that honor. Well, we are honored now to be joined with John Ondo from Ondo Media. It's always good to have you back in the TV44 studios. It's home to me. I love being back here. <laughs> and maybe you've already seen this on TV44, some school documentaries on both the Elida and the Gomer School Districts. Well, John has a new school biography documentary on Botkins. And I guess first off, let's start with, what, with why Botkins. Uh, well, they had heard about the Gomer and Elida documentaries, uh, and Connie Schneider, who's the superintendent at Botkins, had just gotten through putting together their new school building and contacted me and said, we really would like to document uh, the Botkins building and, and the history of our area. And uh, they got some local funding from a grant uh, from the Louis Sheet Fund and made it possible. And so for the past two years, we've been uh, putting together a really neat story. Uh, what you're seeing there is the original Botkin School that was built in 1896, I believe. And we tell the story of Botkins. It's a neat, uh, it's a really neat, these stories of these small schools are so cool. I really enjoy doing these. And Botkins just recently in January of 2015 opened up a new school building. You were there for the first day at the old building, the last day at the old building, and the, the first day at the new building. And, and I tell you, when you watch this documentary, you will not be able to watch this without a smile on your face and perhaps a tear in your eye because you really caught the emotion of that move. You know, s schools are very important. Buildings are very important to all of us. It, it, it's where our lives, it's where milestones are made, prom and sports. And for especially for a town like Botkins, population is I think 1,600. Shelby County is a tight community. And for them to move out of a building they've been in for three generations into a new building, it, it's heartbreaking. They have to say goodbye to a building that was torn down and then move into a new building full of new memories. And uh, great stories, small town, all the great stuff that, that, that really makes West Central Ohio a special place. And we were able to capture a lot of that with the interviews. And uh, we're going to be debuting the full one hour film on July 12th. So anyone, you know, anyone who's got a connection with Botkins, you should come to July 12th at 3 p.m. to the new school building and be a part of that. Um, and if you just love, you know, the, the culture of our area here, come anyway. It's free at, uh, and be a part of it. And it's it's going to be a neat, uh, a neat time. Part of the Trojan Journey discusses the Ward School, which was a Catholic school, a parochial school in Bakken's that was actually integrated into the Bakken School District. Really unique situation. I remember sitting down and they told us, well, we have a Catholic school that was involved with the public school. I'm thinking, wow, that's something that doesn't happen today. But they had a, a, an elementary school that was Catholic run and uh, and they were in the yearbook. You see pictures there. The, the nuns would come over and be a part of the, the public basketball games and the assemblies of the if the elementary school for the Catholic school had an assembly, the public school went over and supported it. And they just had a neat relationship that worked very well there. And even after the, the Catholic school was sort of absorbed into the public school, the nuns continued on as public school employees for a while. So just a really neat thing and where a lot of people may raise their eyebrows to it in today's culture, they, they thought it was great. It was, it was their hometown. It was all folks from their hometown and it worked rather well. I'm sure there are plenty of memories made in the cafeteria and, and where the food was prepared, but when you say the kitchen in Botkins, you're talking about something else. You're not talking about a cafeteria. You're talking about this gym and, you know, covering sports. You, you know how important some of these classic gyms are. In Shelby County, when this thing was built in 1957, it was the largest gymnasium in, Shel in Shelby County. What was unique about it was because Botkins just kind of kept their budget very simple, they, they didn't believe in a lot of gold-plated doorknobs <laughs> or anything like that, they didn't put a wood floor in. They put in a tile floor. And if you don't play basketball, and I'm not a big basketball person, but you, you've got a little bit of a spring with a wood floor. There's no spring with a tile floor. It would get condensation on it in the winter. And it gave Botkins a unique advantage when they had basketball games because you couldn't cut, you'd slide. So we have some interesting interviews in there talking about that floor and the rivalry between Fort Loramie and Jackson Center and some of the other schools in Shelby County. I know Spencerville and some of the other schools here in Allen County played Botkins. So if you've, uh, if you've got a background with uh, Botkins playing sports or anything, you're going to enjoy this because they're going to talk a little bit about their, their kitchen and what made it so special. Also had a red tile floor, right. if you can imagine. That's kind of like the, uh, the Boise State of, uh, <laughs> of basketball in Shelby County. You touched on a little bit before with the Catholic school integration, but the role that faith plays in Bakken's and in several other, other communities around West Central Ohio, and, and that is instilled into the kids from a young age. You know, the thing about it, I, uh, the, one of the first mornings I went there to shoot and um, to do the initial filming, uh, I got there in the morning and the bell rings and the first thing that I hear is the national anthem 
and the Pledge of Allegiance. And I almost teared up because it's so sad that that doesn't happen anymore. Um, uh, the, their, the faith is very important in that area. They, when they dedicated the new building, they had a, a prayer service that was sponsored by the students. Um, it, it, is, it is a town that is unapologetic about faith being a part of its community. And uh, uh, you just, you just got to be kind of proud of what, what that town is doing. And it really, it's, it's symbol, symbolic of the culture of our area. Yeah, our country is doing a lot of interesting things right now, but you know, there's something about West Central Ohio. We're, we're very much grounded in faith and values that uh, go back many times, and that's kind of reflected in this film you'll see. All right, thank you very much, John. Of course, the public showing, it's open to anybody. You can attend that at Bakken School in July. If you're from Fort Lormy, we do ask you that you return the Trojan that has been stolen numerous times <laughs> yes. from Bakken. There'll also be a special version airing of the Trojan Journey during Faith and Friends coming up July 19th through the 25th. Well, some special programming coming up this weekend. With more on that, here's Amber Chambers with a Movie Minute.